Hey guys, what's up? It's Daniel with TrailerMountain.com and today I'm going to be testing and unboxing the uh, Mio Alpha strapless heart rate monitor watch. Uh, there it is right there. Uh, what makes this thing unique is that for one, it links to smartphones most smartphones that is. Uh, more importantly, it doesn't use a chest strap. And if for those of you who've used a chest strap heart rate monitor, they're pretty annoying and constrictive and they just they just stink. They get in the way. You know, they're 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 accurate but they're not comfortable. Uh, especially if you're doing a really high impact workout, bike riding, running, tons of cardio, rowing, what have you. I'm gonna get it out of the box and show you what it's all about. All right, so here it is right here. Let's get it out of this box. And there it is, right there. It also comes with some other stuff too, so I'll get to that in a minute. But here's your watch right here. I'm gonna open it, get it out of here. Really soft finish on the bracelet. The, the, the strap is really, really soft. It has this siliconized, uh, I don't even know if that's a word, but silicone coated strap, very, very comfortable. It does have a little, right there, press and hold any button to activate your Mio Alpha. So let's see here. Hold that open. All right, so I set the time and one thing that I can honestly say is that it's um, very difficult to push down the toggle switches. There's a switch here and here and then over on the other side here and here for set and toggle and timer and heart rate. Now, here's the, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but that's the, here I'll turn my light off. That's how it measures your heart rate. So I'm just going to set this aside. Basically what this does is that it, it's all it's doing is beeping right now is because it doesn't know my heart rate. But if I put this sucker on my wrist and here I'll just, I'll just put it on my wrist just so you can see how it goes. I will say this, it is very, very comfortable. All right, so now it's found my heart rate and it's showing that, turn my light back on. Heart rate's down to about 98 beats per second, 97, 96, 95. This sucker uh, during testing was about 99% accurate um, when running at speeds just above 14 miles an hour. Uh, you can see my heart rate starting to drop because I'm pretty calm. The LED lights works as like an electrical optical cell sense. So basically what it does is it, it senses the volume of blood under your skin and measures your heart rate based on that. Um, very similar to when you get that fingertip one at the hospital or the doctor. And they just put that on there to measure your heart rate. Same thing. Very similar to like, a, like an EKG. Uh, and it does have about the same accuracy, apparently, according to the website. It does have Bluetooth Smart built into it, which I really like. Uh, so it's compatible with iPhone 4S and several of the iPhones, the newer ones, more importantly, and some Android devices. Um, I have read where some Android devices won't com uh, are not compatible with it. Um, but I know that there's several apps that you can you know, judge speed, GPS, distance, and pace. Some of the apps are um, basically uh, Map My Fitness, My Coach, Endomondo, Strava, Runtastic, Runkeeper, Wahoo Fitness, and Digifit. So those are the ones that they know uh, and they have listed on their website as uh, working apps. I want to talk about the, the charger real quick. Here's the, the charger. And this is one thing that a lot of people have said negative things about. Uh, real easy, you know, USB charger. Um, but that's it. That's only how long it is. So me personally, if I wanted to charge this on my iMac, I have to stick it to the back of the monitor and then leave it there. I don't have any room to put it anywhere else. 
So what you do is you basically, you line it up right there and it just sinks to it. And it, it it's magnetic. It's not gonna go anywhere if you just leave it sitting on the desk. So it's pretty snug, but you only have like three inches worth of cord. If they made this cord longer, I think that would be a nice better fit. So one negative right there. Here's all your owner's manuals and your books and everything. So quick start guide, warranty and regulations. All right, I've downloaded Map My Fitness app on my iPhone. This is my iPhone 4S. And basically what you do to, to link it, first thing you wanna do is you wanna turn Bluetooth on. So turn that on, cool. All right, so while it's on, it's gonna read your heart rate. You hold these down and it's gonna say find. Okay, so what I did was instead of actually trying to connect it through the settings on the phone, I went to the settings of the app, connected the heart rate monitor, and sure enough, it connected. So uh, as you can see, it's pretty close to real time. It's only about a second and a half behind. And so you go back in. This is all your settings right here. So settings, equipment, heart rate, and other sensors and devices, heart rate. And then it'll go into there, and then you, it'll find your device. Probably want to go to record a workout, and it's going to ask you for your activity. Uh, run, walk, road cycling, mountain bike, hike. I'm just going to hit hike, and we're going to go for a walk outside and see how it, uh, how it works. All right, so... I'm using the Mio Alpha heart rate monitor watch and right now I'm sitting at about 98, 100, 99. So I'm moving up, but I'm on a little day hike. So I wanna just show you in real time how this works or how well this works, I guess I should say. Now I'm down in the riverbed right now. I'm walking on very sandy gravel kind of ground. You can see right there. So it's going to bring my heart rate up pretty good. As you can see here, I'm already up to 113. So it's definitely working. It looks like somebody's coming with a quad or something like that. So I'm going to move my camera around. Gotta love the riverbed. Never a dull moment. So, as I said, I'm up to about 120 right now. But beautiful day on the central coast here in California. You know, it's about 60 degrees, 65 degrees. And I'm just gonna start running, see how this really does get my heart rate really going. I'm up to 131, 32, 136, 41. So it's not real time, but it's pretty darn close. So we're gonna start a new workout. So you basically get over here, get to where it says start new workout, start workout, and it's gonna start to calculate. Let's go for a walk. It's got my current heart rate right there. My distance. And then it'll show me my calories burned. So I'm gonna put this aside and just shoot video while I'm walking.
right now my heart rate is a modest 113. Granted, I'm just walking. I'm not really doing much. It's very flat. I'm not really hiking. So I'm just trying to show you how well the heart rate monitor works under normal use. So These particular trails are real sandy that I'm on right now. Granted, it just rained a few days ago, so uh, the sand is pretty hard packed down. I also ride these trails on my mountain bike. And I'm just gonna walk a little further and then I'm gonna turn around and just go back just so you have the basic idea. On how the Map My Fitness app works. Let's see what we got. Get over in the shade here. Alright. Current heart rate's 110. According to the watch, it's dead on. Distance 0.11 miles, 2 minutes and 10 seconds. Calories, zero, of course. Current pace is I'm nothing because I'm not moving. So uh, I'm just going to head back now. It's really nice out. Low wind, which for Central Coast California, for those of you who know, it's usually pretty windy. But right now, hardly any wind. All right, so in conclusion, the Map My Fitness app with the Mio Alpha Watch works really good. So far, so good. You could also use it for mountain biking, cycling, hiking, running, whatever. Works really good. So I'm doing some day hiking today on the way up to Gaviota Peak here on the central coast of California. It's about 2,500 feet of elevation gain in three, three miles. And I'm wearing my Mio Alpha heart rate monitor watch. I started the hike, my heart rate was about, uh, about 80, 85 beats per minute. And I'm gonna move the camera around just so you can see what I got. Right now I'm at about 158, 157, 159. It's a pretty steep trail. Good times though, beautiful day. Can't complain. Mio Alpha is doing a pretty good job so far. Now a lot of questions people have about the, uh, about the Bluetooth, you know, will it drain the, you know, your smartphone battery faster? No. Uh, and I'll tell you why. Basically, the Bluetooth Smart uh, uses very, very low voltage, uh, so it will will not drain your uh, your smartphone battery, whether it's your Android or your iPhone. It won't drain it faster. Um, if you're using just regular Bluetooth, probably, but Bluetooth Smart is supposed to be a lot less voltage, and it's supposed to keep your keep your uh, your phone charged for a, for a lot longer. Can you get it wet? Yes, you can go swimming with it. In fact. Um, can you dive with it? No. You can swim with it. It's not going to give you accurate heart rate readings while you're swimming just because water reflects the LED lights and it won't get a good accurate reading. On your toggle switch right here, so you can toggle between a heart rate, start uh, a stopwatch, you can do stop, pause, resume. And then you can go toggle it back to the time. You push it and hold the timer button to end it. And it just goes back to the clock. Pros and cons with the Mio Alpha. Pros, comfortable, easy to read display. Can't get much easier than that. Price point, I don't know if it's really a pro or a con. It's about $200. Cons, length of the cable for the battery charger. Wish it was longer. Uh, secondly, the... Um, the buttons on the side of the case here, they're pretty well molded in. You can't really see them unless you're holding it. You can't really see them on the video. It's kind of hard to tell, but it's like a toggle on the side, on each side. And I guess maybe because it's new, but they're really hard to push. So that was just my experience with it. Okay, so that's my review of the Mio Alpha heart rate monitor watch. Hope you enjoyed my video. 
Um, it does have pros and cons. Uh, it's not perfect, but it is, you know, pretty decent from from what I've been seeing. I did see some mixed reviews online. This particular watch uh, retails for about 200 bucks. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and I'll be sure to get back to you as quickly as I can. Please also like, share, and subscribe. It really means a lot to me when people subscribe to my channel and like what I have to say about the gear and, uh, and items that I'm reviewing. My experience with the Mio Alpha has been really good. Thanks very much for tuning into TrailerMountain.com and keep checking back for more gear reviews and other outdoor related hodgepodge. Thanks again guys. Get outdoors. Oh.